Khan traveled to the northeast of the United States, where tucked into one corner of the University of Maine's campus is a nondescript building. Inside it, a group of students and researchers are working on harnessing wind energy, but with a twist. The university's advanced structures and composite center is developing a floating wind turbine. Once complete, this will likely be the first full-scale floating wind project in the Americas. And this isn't just a whim. In September 2016, the Obama administration identified offshore wind energy as an important strategy for combating climate change. The goal of the research we've been doing here for the last decade is to develop offshore wind farms, floating offshore wind farms, uh, that, are, that can compete on the grid with no subsidies. And that's the key, the key to our research is compete on the grid with no subsidies. Uh, so our goal in the research is to be sub-10 cents a kilowatt hour for the energy uh, connected to the grid. That includes the offshore cable and the cost of actually interconnecting the farm to the grid. The center has received nearly $23 million in grants from the U.S. Energy Department. In May last year, the department deemed the project eligible for a further $39.9 million.